Hey guys, Tyler from Chrome Squad here. Today I'm going to be showing you a program called Go Guardian Teacher, and I'm also going to show you all the different features that it has that can be utilized in your classroom. This program is not only an effective way to monitor your students and see what they're doing on their Chromebooks, but it also is a great way to organize assignments and class activities in a unique and streamlined way. So with all that said, let's get right into the video. So after you log in, this is the screen that you'll be greeted with. I'm currently logged in under a teacher account so I can show you all of the different features that this program has for teachers. So over on the left hand side we have a menu option where we can view all of our different classes. Now on this main screen there are two different tabs to look at. You have the classroom tab and then you also have the scenes tab. I'm going to start with the scenes tab because we need to create a scene before we move on to creating a classroom. So to start I'm just going to click the add scene button. Now this is going to present us with a lot of different options that may seem a little bit overwhelming at first. But basically what a scene is is it sets the rules for your classroom. So just to start off I'm going to add a name and description for this scene. Now let's look at the filter section. So there are two main modes in the filter section. You have allow mode and you have block mode. Basically what these are going to do is change the way that your students can view web pages. So in allow mode your students will be allowed to see any websites except for the exceptions that you had below. In block mode it's the exact opposite so students will not be able to see any websites except for the ones that you enter below. I'm going to go ahead and leave this in allow mode and I'm just going to add a few exceptions to the exception box. So as you can see we now have one exception listed. What this means is that the students will be allowed to visit any website except for the website that I have put right here. If you're going to be creating multiple classrooms with the same type of rules I would suggest creating an exception list so that every time you create a scene you can just go in and add the same exception list instead of having to type out every website URL over over and over again. So after we finish with our filters we have one more section which is the auto open tabs and the maximum open tabs. Auto open tabs is going to make it to where any website we enter here will automatically open on the student's Chromebook once you start your session. So I'm going to add a website to this box and the final section is the maximum open tabs section. Uh, you can set a limit on how many tabs a student can actually have open. I'm going to keep it at no limit and I'm going to hit save scene now that I'm done. So let's head back to the classroom side of the main page and and I'm going to click in the top right hand corner to create a new classroom. Here we'll be able to fill out the name and description and we can also link it to our Google Classroom. Now if you want to add your Google Classroom make sure to leave the rest of the information blank so that this will work properly. Once I've filled this out I just click add classroom. Now we're going to be greeted with another menu. This is going to allow us to add active times for the classroom. So we can put in days of the week and then also we can add what times that the class should be active. So after you've filled out these options you're presented with this uh, menu telling you that you need to add students to your classroom and there are three different ways to do this. In my opinion the easiest one uh, is to use the enroll code system. So once you get to this page click the use code button and GoGuardian will give you this code right here. Now if your students visit the URL listed right here and they put in this code they will be automatically joined into your classroom. So now I'm actually going to enroll myself in this classroom on my Chromebook so I can show you some of the features of a classroom session. So on the right hand side we can see that uh, my Chromebook is pending enrollment so I'm going to go ahead and enroll myself into the classroom. Now I can go back to the sessions tab up here and this will allow me to pick the options for my classroom session. So here I pick the amount of time that it will last and then we also pick which scene we would like to apply to the session. Once I've chosen these options I'm going to click start. Here is our master control panel. Uh, this is where we are going to be able to see everything that is going on on every student's Chromebook. So this box over here uh, shows my Chromebook and this is what each individual student would look like. Uh, you can use this over here to zoom in or out. So one of the coolest parts about GoGuardian in my opinion is that you're able to see what is going on on the student's screen at all times. So if I click on my tab here I can see what is going on on my Chromebook screen. I can see the active tab and I can also see every other tab that is opened on the Chromebook. And by clicking this X on the right hand side I can close out any tabs that I think do not need to be opened. Up top we can see how much time is remaining in the session. If you want to update it just click there and you can set a new end time for your session. We can also change the scene which will uh, change the rules of our classroom. Uh, this is actually really useful if you want to set up multiple scenes for a class because by switching out the scenes it will automatically open different tabs. So if you have certain websites that you want students to access, changing out the scene is a very easy way to get these links to them. We also have the option to enable chat. So once I enable chat, I can click on the speech bubble in the bottom right, and this allows us to message specific students. So if I send a message here, it's going to pop up on my Chromebook and the student can even reply. Once we're done with this feature, we can click up here again to disable the chat. We also have the option to look at timelines. Uh, timelines are going to show us how much time 
uh, students have spent on certain tabs. What's really cool about the timelines is they are actually done in real time. So as you see, this timeline is scrolling across to the right hand side because I'm spending more time on a certain tab. Once I am done with my classroom session, I can click up here to end the session. Once we've ended our session, we'll be presented with a survey to tell GoGuardian how our session went. And then once we're done, we can go back to see all of our classrooms again. So as I've shown you, GoGuardian truly offers a wide range of tools that make integrating technology into your classroom a whole lot easier. I hope this video can help you to utilize GoGuardian in your classroom. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.